Hey guys, it's Jason. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today's video, I just want to talk about the news of the day. And um, the, the, the news that came down about Domingo German, pitcher for the New York Yankees, who has been suspended for 81 games. Um, it is retroactive to uh, last year, so he, he will have served already 16 games. Um, from oh, seven, excuse me, 17 games from 2019, so he'll only really have to serve 63 or 64 games uh, suspension in 2020, meaning he'll be eligible to, uh, to play in June um, at some point. Um, it was kind of inevitable. I mean, the bottom line is if you, you're, you know, you're accused or if you're proven to be a domestic abuser, as he has been, then this should be the minimum. Uh, you know, I, I don't disagree with people who say you should be banned. Period. I, I'm not a. I don't agree with uh, domestic abuse at all, and um, it was a terrible thing. So he's going to pay his punishment, and um, you know he is a Yankee, and I am a Yankee fan, so I will, um, you know, support him when he comes back. But um, I, I do think he needs to make an apology. I do think he needs to, he needs to um, do things to make it right. And uh, but if it doesn't work out, and it doesn't work out for him, that's just the way I look at it. Um, you know, he, he will have served his time or paid his dues, whatever the punishment is. Um, that's the way I see it. Once people pay their dues and have their punishment completed, then, you know, it's in the past. That's the way I see it. So, um, you know, I, I hope there's, I know there's some, probably have to be some, you know, uh, some social classes or some domestic abuse classes or whatever else that goes with this punishment. He should not be paid at all, at all. I don't care what anybody says, whatever the strong, you know, whatever the baseball union says. Um, he should not be paid at all. If it was you or I, we would not be paid. We'd be fired from our job. We'd likely be in jail um, if we beat our wives or our girlfriends in public. Um, deservedly so. So um, I don't know whether he's going to get paid, but I don't think he should be. Um, that said, I also mentioned in my, you know, I, I've done, I'm a Yankee fan. I've done a couple of videos on the Yankees, and I did stress the need for a pitching. Um, not only because, you know, generally, Yankees generally have one or two starters that come that go down every year. I mean, we, uh, Tanaka's gone down recently a couple times. CC and Paxton went down last year. Even if it's not a long period of time, we also lost Jermon for the last month of the season in the playoffs. And his suspension, his suspension was inevitable to this year. So aside from getting Cole, which is fantastic, I emphasize the need for the Yankees to get an additional starter. And we have already lost two guys from the bullpen, Batances to the Mets, and less... Uh, Less, I don't know, notor, notor, uh, less notable, whatever you want to call it, um, is Nestor Cortez. And um, obviously, he's not one of the top, more recognizable uh, relievers, but he was a spot starter. He was a guy that gave us length, two, three innings, sometimes four, and it came in handy sometimes. So I do think that um, the Yankees should bring in at least one guy to, uh, you know, to cover for them. I can't expect Cole to pick up the slack for everybody, uh, whether they get hurt or Herman. And, you know, remember last year when the starters weren't doing their part, the bullpen, our elite bullpen was taxed. They were tired and can't really blame them. So I do think bringing in somebody else who could um, give us some length would be helpful. You know, whether they trade for a Josh Hader or somebody else, I don't care who it is. Um, you know, I do think bringing in somebody for depth purposes would be very beneficial. Um, yeah, you know, that's it's. It's a pretty somber day, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, you know, it's it's not a not a fun thing to hear, especially when one of you when he's a member of your favorite team. So you know, I I I know Red, Reds fans who were not happy to hear when Pete Rose was banned from baseball. I wasn't happy to hear Pete Rose banned from baseball. I think he served more than served his time. He deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, but hopefully one day MLB will come to its senses. Um, and uh, but that's why I stress the need for more pitching for the Yankees. I do think that they need to bring in a uh, starter and a reliever um, for depth and protection. People may have different opinions, and obviously people have voiced their different opinions. But um, and if I was a, a Blue Jays fan, I'd say the same thing. If they were in the same situation, if I was a Brewers fan, I'd be saying the same thing. Rockies, I'd be saying the same exact thing, no matter what the team is. Um, that they would need, um, you know, an additional starter and an additional reliever. And um, particularly with one that's going to be suspended for almost half the season, uh, even though his arm might be fresh, but he'll and he'll still be able to train at the uh, in, in I think Tampa and stuff like that, which will be good. But um, he'll have an extended off season, 
and our extended spring training, whatever you want to call it. So at least his arm won't be as taxed. But you don't know what to expect when he comes back. I don't know where his head is going to be at. I don't know where his, his arm, you know, his, his, his mechanics, his arm. We just don't know what to expect, which is why, uh, you know, uh, I think it would be good to invest in another starter. Um, a lot of the ones that I had mentioned in my other videos have been have signed with other teams, but that said, there are still some people out there, you know, and a reliever as well, <clears throat> whether it be hot Josh Hader or Will Harris or somebody like that. Um, I don't think the Yankees should give up half the team or a bunch of top players for Josh Hader, who's a reliever. Um, I just don't think they should do that. Um, it will require, you know, probably a, a solid major leaguer like Andrew Hart or Clint Frazier and another top prospect, but two top prospects, three top prospects? No, no, thank you. Um, and uh, there's plenty of free agents out there that they could utilize or sign. Um, so, short and sweet video. Um, if this is your first time to this channel, I, uh, I ask that you please click that subscribe button. If you have a channel of your own, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll make sure to point it out and, and uh, make people make sure that people know about you and your channel. Even if you don't plan on watching a bunch of my videos, and I put, I always attach down below and in the description a bunch of videos for your enjoyment that I think are relevant to this particular video or in other videos and so on um, that I hope you watch as well. Um, even if you don't plan on watching a bunch of my videos, I still would appreciate very much if you click the subscribe button and support my channel. My goal is to grow it, and I'm just over 500 subscribers now. My goal in the next couple of months is to get it over 1,000, and by the end of the year, 2,500. Um, and I've said this in my other videos as well. And my, my goal this year is to improve the quality of the videos and do them out in different environments and so on and so forth, potentially a couple different stadiums. Um, I will be at opening day at Yankee Stadium, so I'll do a video from there. And... Um, <clears throat> you know, so my goal is to not only do videos in the off season, but all throughout the season. And I've gotten some great suggestions from people recently that I'm going to utilize, and thus to look out for a bunch of videos. My next video in a couple of days, well, I'll be talking about the top ten MLB pitching rotations that I got from uh, as a request from somebody recently. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to be my ne very next video. Okay. If you like the content, please click that thumbs up. And again, if you want, you know, want to watch my videos regularly, just click that notification next to the subscribe button. I appreciate it. And for my regulars, thank you guys so much, and gals, I appreciate you very, very much. And um, again, let's have a good year. Keep your eyes out for the next video, and I will talk to you next time.